Hey everyone, today let's talk a little more about the Al of Sipta expansion that is coming out to Conan Exiles. And without spoiling things too much for you, because I'm not really allowed to do it, because I know a bunch of things. I've been playing on this new map for weeks now. I'm one of the beta testers. Uh, I want to just clear a few things up for whoever didn't really have the time or don't really know about uh, some of the useful info that has made been to public uh, on the forums and such. Whoever doesn't really uh, just go check the certain social uh, platforms, social media platforms, or don't really have uh, just patience to just read uh, in extra info about the game that just came out. I want to clear things up, also explain you a couple of things um, about the game, about what's going on, uh, just for avoiding uh, misinformation and some confusion. Confer Confusion. Okay, I'm confusing my fa uh, myself. <laughs> okay, uh, so um, first of all, I want to talk about how this uh, map thing is going to work. Also, I want to just go ahead and take a look at uh, the dev blogs. Actually, I've closed them. I don't know why. Also, I've opened here um, a great recap. Uh, the dev stream recap made by one of the the Steam Workshop mothers, uh, the the Conan Exiles mothers, Multigun. Uh, he took a good time and off effort uh, from himself to make all of this recap for whoever and uh, didn't check the the developer stream recently or even for who checks. He has some good useful uh, info okay they resume the the recap of the, the dev stream on the forums okay it's a great recap also a few links uh, the link for all the links i drop here down below on my video description just in case you want to check that out just go ahead and take a look if you have the time about this new map how it's gonna work um first question is uh, can you transfer your old character that you have in excellence to this new expansion to play on it no you cannot that doesn't work this way like some people play arc and i know that you can like uh, transfer your character from one map to another one this is not possible in Conan Exiles, at least for now, they didn't make it, they didn't code the game that way. So once you are going to play in the different map, in this case in the Isle of Sipta, from the Exile Lands to the Isle of Sipta, you are going to start with a brand new uh, character, okay? It just separates maps. Uh, let me tell you that the Isle of Sipta is not a standalone instance. It's not a standalone game separated from Conan Exiles itself. It's just an expansion, so it's an add-on, it's an extra from the, the game. It's just a DLC. It belongs to the base game as an expansion. It's not a different game. However, uh, it's a separate map from the Exile Lands. So you are going to start a new game once uh, you enter in that map which means a new character a separate character but you cannot join your current progress that you have in the exile lands together on the isle of sipta okay because actually the stories are even different uh, on the isle of sipta you were supposed to to be transported as a slave to the exile lands, but because of a misfortune, okay, your destiny, uh, it, it just something bad has happened, okay, a cursed thing, um, and uh, the ship where you were transported on just sunk and you wanted to be a castaway on the isle, and you need to eventually venture yourself and start to reveal the, the things, the mysteries that this isle of the the mage Sipta uh, owns, um, and it, it owns also the the Black Tower. So there is a story behind it. Okay, based on the book actually. 
um, and it's like you are far away from the excellence. So that may not happen. Actually, it's gonna work different. And to play in the excellence, you need to or either go to play in a different server or to start a new game just in case you're in a single player game and let me explain you uh, so actually down below on my video description i'm gonna drop a bunch of i uh, actually i've dropped a bunch of links useful links that you may want to read when you have time but i'm gonna mention a couple of things from those pages i'm i'm linking down there uh, so one of the links is uh to goes to the forums where one of the developers glaucon um, drops some very useful uh, info about the maps about the great feature that is going to be around actually there is about uh, the ability of the mothers to be able to create brand new custom maps okay for the steam workshop for you to download in the future there is going to, there are going to be modern maps made by the community so you are not going only to be able to play in the exile lands in the Isle of Sita just in case you own the Conan Exiles game uh, PC version, okay, the version for the PC, you will be able to play in the different maps made by the community and I'm really curious about it already. Uh, so just in case you are uh, like playing on this version, of course. Um, I have no idea if in the future there will be uh, the ability of at least making uh, modded maps for the consoles. Um, that's a complicated thing, but I'm not sure. Um, anyway, uh, he also mentions here, a dev developer mentions on these forums, uh, in this forum thread, that it's not possible to run multiple maps at the same time in the same server, okay, or in the same single player or co-op mode uh, game, okay, because the, the database doesn't allow that, okay, in the same database you can only run one map at a time, okay, which means that uh, transferring the same character for uh, another map it's not gonna happen, at least so soon. You cannot have two maps in the same database, in the same server. So from that, that cannot be happening. I know that it's gonna be disappointing for many people, but that, that's the way the game is working right now. They didn't code it differently. Um, so characters are not shared between databases. Uh, Joel Billows actually shortly he mentioned on the dev stream that uh, there will be a drop down menu once you try to select uh, on a server, on the server list. Uh, there will be a drop down menu uh, for you to choose in which um, map you want to play on. So it's like a filter for you to, to choose the servers with uh, running only the Exile Lands map or only the Isle of Sipta map, okay? If you choose the Isle of Sipta map, probably the... I think it's gonna work this way. Only the, the servers running the Isle of Sipta map will show up. Just in case, for example, if you don't own the expansion, you wanna just um, make the servers with the Exile Lands uh, pop up, for example. Or if you want to just uh, see the servers running a modded um, map, only the servers with the modded map will show up. I think it's going to work this way. Also, if you're running a single player uh, game, uh, from what I've seen, uh, testing this, uh, once you start a new game, uh, it will allow you to choose, okay, like a little window uh, will pop up, unless they, they change it eventually. Uh, make, let, allowing you to choose between the Exile Lands or the Isle of Sipta before, uh, before you create your own character, okay? And once you get back to your single player game or the co-op mode, um, even if you have already a saved game, uh, it will again uh, 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 ask you for you to choose if you want to play in that Isle of Sipta or the Exile Lands. 
okay but your character will always stay uh, on the previous uh, map you've chosen to play on okay if you want to get back to the other map the character uh, of that map will stay there if you want to play on the other map uh, the other map will have the different character okay so never the characters won't jump from one map to another okay uh, so don't forget one database one uh, one character per database that's how it's going to work just in case you were curious about this okay so i hope about the maps uh, i answered to the questions you had anything else um, feel free to ask if i know how to answer uh, i think i don't have many more things i know how to explain to for now it's all i kind of know okay let's get to the next thing i want to tell you actually moving here to the dev blogs they talk about a bit of the new features and such and they talk about the maelstrom that is the huge storm formed because of the sea the the bad weather and such and they mention kind of how destructive it can be and they also talk about the new creatures the new monsters and they uh, say they mention the fact that a building within the storm bridge will also attract the monsters and cause them to tear down your buildings and the bigger uh, your base can be the bigger uh, you build uh, the the bigger the monsters it will draw the building will draw so the more you build the, the worse you, it will be uh, so it m makes you think a little bit about the purge back in the excel lands okay so maybe there's something that will make uh, the purge kind of uh, trigger uh, and for example when you go up north uh, the more up north the harder the, the purge could be uh, maybe it makes you think um, about uh, where to build here on this island, on this isle, I mean. Um, and about the storm, do you want to build big bases? It makes you wonder how can you defend against these uh, horrible monsters. And it's something that you want to think about. This map is built was built in a certain way that will also make you tr uh, having to plan uh, well where to build at not only because uh, of other players maybe but also because of uh, where things were placed okay where a po certain points of interest were built were built at like in the exile lands maybe you have those areas where is forbidden to build at of course the building restrictions but not only because of that but also because maybe of certain events or uh, maybe because you don't really want to build in there uh, but m maybe because of uh, something think well how you're going to defend your base against these monsters and oh maybe i should not even better try this expansion because if i'm going to build to get this uh if i want to make like a big building but why making effort if these monsters are going to destroy my base it's not really that okay i had like a tier one base for a long time while i was trying to evolve my character and the monsters didn't touch my base and why because i've built my base in a relatively safe place where the monsters didn't even show up okay and you, yes you can still have uh, the this uh, going to play in the server with the base building damage active it's not really because of that okay i was playing in a server with really the pvp um settings active anyway okay uh, what happened was that no enemies uh, no ai de destroy my base because i built it in a kind of a safe place okay you have plenty space to build on uh, of course um, in the excellence you have much more space to build on the thing is that you will have you will find out that you won't 
you don't want to build in certain areas because of those monsters and not only because of the monsters. About the search, it took me a while to understand how all this stuff works, but since the developers share this, I can talk to you about this. Just in case you don't want really to read this, I can sum up how all this stuff works here, because I cannot tell you much about this. Uh, but this is gonna be a challenge, especially if you play solo, but it's still pretty possible. Uh, the key here is going to really after the NPCs, the trolls, the the human NPCs you want to make a troll of. Um, the key here is really trying to avoid players while doing this, but it's like a hit or miss. Okay, you, you don't, you really don't know if you are going to find someone after the the search NPCs or not. So uh, here. After a storm has passed, a mighty surge of power erupts from the Tower of Sita, which means one of the the surge will or surges will appear eventually on the map, which means that uh, they will just pop in the air and surge. If you've seen the um, the trailer, you will see that NPCs will just show f come from a portal and will drop to the ground and try to fight you you can either kill them or just capture them capture them and this is going to be something like um a fight between uh, you between them and between players to see who will get more trolls into their base and can you do this or not it's the question here and there's something about this because eventually you will be able to do something that will allow you to have enough power to control these surges okay and um, there there is some kind of asset there there is some kind of something in the map that will allow you to do something in order to control the surge that will probably allow you to defend yourself or to attack the enemy in order to be able to capture more trolls. I wonder that. Uh, so, uh, in order to capture the trolls, you have to, to fight. Okay. And then, uh, these trolls that you capture eventually will aid you in combat. Uh, to capture more, okay, or just to unlock recipes like back in the exile lands that that's um the target with these trolls after all is to unlock more recipes to allow you to uh, be more efficient in crafting things in the crafting stations as well with defend your base, okay, the fighters and archers, okay. Uh, so it's a completely different way of gathering trolls. Back in the Exile Lands, it was, will be pretty easy to just go there, uh, find a camp and recruit trolls, okay, just hold, just eat, uh, some enemies, okay, put them to sleep and back to your base. Here is different. You need to wait for this event, okay, for the storm to pass. Uh, but also, you'll be able to do something like it's some sort of sorcery in a certain way. Um, on PvE, you can go start capturing a troll. Uh, you cannot get killed, but in PvE, you're going to get killed trying to capture trolls. In PvE, you, you're gonna get there and someone can kill your, your NPCs that you're trying to capture and you cannot do anything. Uh, you know, unless that person is not an asshole, okay, or can actually try to help you, which is cool. Um, but I advise you to try to do this, like, with someone nice, or try to get, go for these NPCs when no one is there. Uh, so this requires some patience, and, um, I will do this when I'll become a little more stronger, okay? They talk about the vaults of the elder races. There are, um, the stream, or uh, during the stream, they mention it about 14 vaults through the map. The vaults are pretty much the dungeons on this new expansion. 14 of them are a lot of them to explore, okay? 
to venture yourself. I really enjoyed the vaults. I was too. Okay. I was still in some of them. I, I still have to find them all. Okay. I was actually in mostly of them. Not a few. Mostly of them. And what I've enjoyed were not only the puzzles, but the architecture. Okay. The art inside. Um, they don't disappoint me with that, actually. And I actually enjoyed uh, in the stream to, to know, um, that, uh, one of the, the artists is actually from my country, Bruno. <laughs> um, it was really cool what they did with the designs, with the art. I, I really like this type of stuff. Like, it's pretty interesting to see in such games. So I'm gonna take a lot of photos. Like, I, I'm gonna, have an album just with photos of this new map for sure. It's pretty interesting because you don't know what is expecting for you in each vault. As you can see even in the, how can I say, in the trailer, you can see even one of the vaults, one of the dungeons has water and it re kind of reminds me, uh, I was in that vault recently and it reminded me a part uh, where um, in a place where I had to do something that reminded me of the Dreg's dungeon back in the Exile Lands because I had to do something and the water was like up and it was pretty cool but it's not really like the Dreg's dungeon at all uh, but it's kind of like oh I have to swim okay oh, all right but it's really interesting um, and it's something that you really can skip on this map but I don't really advise you to do because you're going to miss a lot if you really want to advance and try to get uh, more stuff. I cannot really go into details right now, but it's something really worth it. And yeah, so in the, it says to solve puzzles, so you're going to go through, through places and have to do stuff and to progress and uncover hidden creatures all while fighting your way through fins, demonic spiders, goblins, harpies, and many more of the eldritch creatures. Oh, this word. Hmm. Lovecraft. Let's see what the other devil log has to say. So you weren't supposed to be in, in the Isle of Sipta, but in the Exile Lands, you are a castaway. You need to... Uh, reveal the mysteries and uh, pretty much survive. It's the base thing of the current Exiles world, after all. And explore a vast island. You, you will eventually come across with uh, the camp of the castaways, which I find actually pretty fun to go uh, to this place, alright? And you're going to see a bunch of ancient ruins. Okay, and with a, a bunch of enemies as well, and uh, stuff to loot, so um, it's, re it's really cool, like, it's a nice adventure, it's like a, a vacation, loca a location for a vacation, but also a, a place like you'll feel like Indiana Jones, Dora the Explorer, Lara Croft, and... Conan the Barbarian at the same time. And then he talks about the, the storm. Uh, you have heard that the sorcerer Sipta has taken over the tower and sent out storms to, cru to crush the ships of those who failed to pay him tribute. So that's what happened to your ship where you were about to be transported to the exile lands. Uh, the storm just sunk and the, the ship and yeah, that's what happens. Yeah, that's it. I know this video is getting a little too long already, but I definitely advise you to take a look at least at the foreign thread that Multigan uh, took a while to put together about the recap and scroll down a bit. You can even check the, the screenshots put by all of us. Some of us, at least, that shared um, over the stream. Okay, he put it here, uh, which is pretty cool. 
And um, also, I want to tell that uh, you know, game develop development is not uh, as easy as many th may think it is. Okay, and fixing bugs may take a while to happen when it's like a global thing. It's not like the closed beta test thing. Okay, uh, the approach is different. Okay. And some people have been demanding f from them to to fix the under mesh issue, the the map under mesh issue that has been going on because I think some patch has broken that. And I know uh, I've noticed that I'm aware uh, of what's been going around. And I've noticed that a problem also in other games in the past. And this is a problem. This is a bug uh, on, with the map terrains that. It's like um, a pain in the butt to fix, but the developers are aware of this problem, even though they may not be replying to people on the, the forums. They they check they check stuff there, and it's a known issue that they've been trying to solve and fix a bit. And um, just because they haven't um, released this um, expansion yet to the consoles. That doesn't mean that they are not caring about the player base of the consoles. It's not that, okay? Most of the player base is actually on the consoles now. I know. The thing is that uh, there are valid reasons why they did not release the expansion as early access on the consoles especially on the PlayStation platform. And I suppose that some of the reasons are that uh, first, Sony doesn't like much developers to release unfinished products into their platform for some reasons, okay? And also the reason why it's because of the PC platform is, let's say, a much more flexible platform, it's much more easy to, to test things and to fix bugs, to patch things faster in the PC platform. And as this expansion is still an early access thing, um, it's easy to, to just um, report things much faster, okay? To patch a game, okay, or a DLC, whatever, um, into a console. It takes a while to approve it, okay? It takes more time than just approve on Steam on the PC. Uh, for Sony to approve a patch and update to a game on their platform, it takes a while. And uh, it's it will be an hassle for, for the game developers and for the players to just wait for a patch to come out for the expansion, okay? And to avoid that hassle, uh, it was a good decision from the development team to remain with the expansion for the PC only for now. So just a few more months and the expansion will going is going to be fully released not only for the PC but also for the other platforms, okay? Uh, so I'll hope more people could understand. Um, I have nothing against the consoles, okay? I, I've loved playing on consoles while I was younger, okay, a young teen, teenager, okay, so I have nothing against consoles after all. Um, and I've also waited a long time for certain games that were console only to be ported for the PC and I didn't uh, send aid to the devs. If you are not happy at all with how developers or um, just do things for their games. You don't have to play the game, okay? Sometimes you just don't understand or all things work and tend to have anger issues, okay? And create some sort of toxicity among the community. And that's not how things work. That's gonna turn things worse for everyone. And I'm not licking anyone's boots, okay? I'm not kissing anyone's ass. 
but I grant you that developers worked pretty well um, on this new expansion and things are not perfect. They are not perfect. Uh, so there's always ups and downs on game development, okay? And I'm a community manager for one game. Um, so just voluntary because I know the developers cannot pay me for do that thing. Um, and it's a game that they had to, like, they feel burned out for that game. It's just a small development team for a small game. Um, it's not easy. It's not an easy thing, okay. And, um, it, you know, it just, it takes a long time to develop a, ga a game and it's not perfect, okay. The, the developers have their own flaws. I wish I could change a bunch of things, but it's their work after all, and they accept a bunch of suggestions from the community. So, uh, sending hate to people is not gonna make things better. Definitely, okay. You are free to to leave your opinions, try to make things better, but it's not like uh, at least have some mature attitudes. You don't have to play in this map if you don't want to pay for it, but you are going to have access to a few things and features in the base game, which is kinda cool. They are not going to stop working on the base game, which is nice. So thank you so much for watching and wish you a great week. Bye. Oh, also, don't forget that after day 15, keep an eye on my channel and other um, cre YouTube uh, channels and eventually streamers, whatever, that are going to cover this new expansion, okay? Because new content is coming out soon. I have a video ready about uh, the map. Um, and also I'm working in on other videos, okay? So to release uh, through the month and yeah, what else? Yeah. So just uh, pay attention because new content is coming out soon and I bet that more cool content creators are going to upload more stuff. Yeah, I'm calling myself cool. No, so um, there are more creators that are going to release very useful content on this expansion that you may don't want to miss. See you later, alligator.